Um, I had a couple friends who lived on my block, and... Like, the homies are always either smoking weed, either doing acid or shrooms, you know, it's crazy. You wear thrashers. I don't, bro. I really don't. But that's alright. Jesus, Chiche, Seth, and Jimmy, Zane. Hey, Don. Don. Yeah, my name is Brandon, but Don. Sketchboard. Sketchboard. Yes. I like that. That's like my that. alias. How old are you? I'm 20. I'm about to be 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say? How old are you guys? 16. 15. How old are you? 21. Uh, how old are you? I'm 20 years old, turning 21 this year. I'm 21. Uh, I've been skating for about seven years now. About ten years, I think. Like two years now. Uh, like five. Five. Yeah. Since freshman year of high school, so that's like eight years. Uh, I've been skating for since I was eight. Eight years old. Yeah, it's been chilling, bro. I started skating probably when I was in eighth grade, so maybe I was like three years consistent, and then I stopped because I broke my ankle. So I'm barely getting back to it. Uh, jumping down to eight set, uh, eight set, trying to tray flip it. My homie Isaac, I had a I had a good friend Isaac. I actually longboard before. I was actually really into bombing hills and whatnot. And then I got a shortboard and then I started skating. I mean, mine was just doing doing something with my friends, getting out more. It's somewhat exercise. Uh, my brother, my older brother's got me into it. Um, a homie actually called Peter. He used to like skate outside my house all the time. I used to like see like, I used to ask like, yo, can I get a board? He's like, yeah, dude, and I just traded his board. Um, I had a couple friends who lived on my block, and I just saw them skating. And after that, I had a board in my backyard, and I was like, I want to get into this. And so I grabbed that, even though my parents did not want me to do it. And so after that, they kind of just like, they kind of just guided me towards it and like showed me the ropes, took me here to the park. And after that, I just started learning things on my own. So you've been in the skateboard like community for a while, right? Pretty much my whole life. All right, all right. So in this time you've been, have you ever been around like drugs or any substances like me like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time, bro. Yeah, it's just it's in the it's in the habitat. Yeah, definitely. In like the time you've been skateboarding, how, how many is that like five plus? Yeah, five plus. Five plus. Um, have you ever been around like any substances or drugs or anything like that? Yeah. Have I been around them? Period. Yes. Would you say it's like a part of the culture? No. Like, the homies are always either yeah. smoking weed or doing acid or shrooms, you know, it's crazy. And do you, like, you feel like that's part of the skateboarding culture? It's not, like, I mean, you can, you can skate being not even in the, under the influence or anything, you can just skate whenever, like, yeah. it always depends on the people you're around with. If they're doing shrooms, then they're doing shrooms. If someone's drinking, it's always to just have a good time. That's, that's really all it's about. Yeah, I'm asking because, you know, like, all those, like, movies that are for skateboarders that Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, for a long time, I wasn't doing anything. Like, most of my skating career, I just didn't smoke weed or any drink or anything. But recently, that's when I, you know, don't tell my mom, Mom, I hope you ain't watching this. <laughs> what do you think it came with, like, with age or just being around the sports? Um, it was just honestly the people. Like, it's really all about the people you surround yourself with. And at the end of the day, yeah. Like a weird question, I guess. But, like, have I ever been around? Have I been around them, period? Yes, but, like, dude. Yeah, not really. Nah, I've uh, honestly, I've, it was because of like our shows or like other things that I've like, been around more. You know, out here we're like mainly skating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's the only thing they do. No, we actually putting in work out here, exercising. You know, staying healthy. <laughs> yeah 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 okay i see what you mean yeah I, for sure yeah like underground like i feel like skating is like a little underground but like this is like underground skating over here yeah 
Yeah, but I'm actually going sober, bro. Not the way to go. Yeah, I'm like maybe like four months sober. So. Uh, what, smoking weed and doing drugs? Nah, dude, I personally don't think it's part of the culture. It's just, it's just another, it's a whole nother environment that people bring, you know? So it's, you know, I, I personally don't feel it's, it's part of it, but I mean, some people use it medicinal. I mean, I don't got a problem with marijuana. Smoke it if you want it, but when, once it comes down to hard drugs, and that's different, bro. So, but I'm not a supporter of drugs. Hell no, man. No. It's basically... Your choices of if you want to do if you want to do weed or if you want to do other drugs, that's on you. That's not part of the set culture of, you know, skateboarding, you know. Skateboarding is self-expressive. It's not tied to really anybody's own thing like, oh, you need to, like, oh, skateboarding is this, is that. Like, you have to do this or that. Like, no, 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 no. It's like saying you want to be, like, skateboarding wants to be Olympics. It's tied to, like, a, being a sport. Skateboarding is not a sport. It's a self, it's a means of self-expression. Have and doing like like saying having like weed and drugs like that no that's that's on you not the skateboarding itself. Some people because there are people with it to stay in age that don't like it. It's it's not they're more the uneducated. It's more they kind of don't see it as a means of a safe way because it's stereotyped as people who are basically drinking doing drugs they sell drugs or stuff like that and it's more people just don't want to be into that like when they see that they see they think of like they go around the like, tagging and stuff like that and breaking like public property and all the other things but that's not really what it is you know would you say it's like a part of the culture arguable i i choose if you um i feel like if you want to do all of that then you like it's it's present in the culture, but I say it's a personal decision to like whether if you want to do all that. There's a hollow amount of truth to it. I feel like um, we are somewhat rebellious, like as like a culture, and. Um, I just, I mean, I just don't think you can generalize, like, all of that together. Like, you can't put us all into the same group. We're all different, and I think that's what makes skating huge. Right. Okay, okay, a, my at is on Chester Alien. I'm a videographer, so if you want to check out my music videos and my clips, go ahead and do that, too. Oh. Uh, I, I have Instagram, it's uh, Jesus Tejeda 0217. Yeah. Um, you can find me at Crow, C R X W dot King, K I N G, on Instagram. IG. Mine's like Snocturnal, S N O X T R N A 1. Sketchlord. Sketchlord. Yes. Um, uh, I have a, I have a weird little at, it's underscore Zanax, it's underscore Z-A-N-E-N-A-X underscore. I get this turn like it's my nine to five, cause it's the only fucking thing that keeps my soul alive. But lately I've been feeling like committing suicide, I swear this fucking game I chose to play is do or die. With this pen like it's my nine to five Cause it's the only fucking thing that keeps my soul alive But lately I've been feeling like committing suicide I swear this fucking game I chose to play is do or die I feel my time is coming soon I'm not a supporter I look up to the sky and the sky What the banger, fuck I gotta do? Banger, you already know it's me It's a banger, it's a banger I be looking so clean